I don't discriminate when I work with artists. Gospel on the beat. Say, say, techno and the video. Gospel on the beat that you already know. One of Nigeria's respected producer, Gospel Obi, better known as Gospel on the Beat, behind the production of some hits, including Debbie Doe's All of You, Techno and Debbie Doe's Holiday, Bunny Boys Celebrate, Praise featuring Whiskey Sissy, who is currently based in Abuja, talks about his forthcoming project and reveals why he never discriminates when he works with artists. Well, basically, uh, I've been working on couple projects, I mean lots of projects, you know, working on um, albums, you know, singles, recordings, you know, also working on uh, my own personal project as a producer and uh, it's been going on great, it's been going on fine so far. Um, okay, when, when I started like prison, one, one thing I, I always put into consideration is to to create music and produce as though it's my last opportunity to do it, you know. So I, I don't discriminate. Uh, I give it, you know, 110%. I give it my best. He further talked about recreating some of the songs he's produced with the live band. Autonomous sound is um, another aspect, you know, I just... Uh, uh, I thought of it. I'm a musician because there's a big difference between a producer and a beat maker. A big difference between a beat maker, producer, and a musician. Now, uh, for me, uh, I'm a musician, I understand the music, I play the instruments and all. So I just decided that, you know, I mean, having made and created, you know, certain records or hit records, I mean, it would be nice if I add like a little twist to them, like take it to another level. Because for me, I, I love live band, live music, live performances and all. So I, I, I called in, you know, a few talented guys and we decided to you know uh, make versions live versions of some of my productions that are already out there so actually we started with uh, cc as the first you know but we have a couple of other you know uh songs and you know my productions that we're working on like the live version when requested to know which of his production was his biggest record, he simply said this. I might not be able to tell, you know, a particular song, I think, you know, but I mean, for a lot of people, I would say, I think the break started with David O's All of You, you know, because prior to that time, you know, I've been producing a lot of, you know, underground artists, but as soon as I got that song recorded or recorded in the studio, I mean, that was it. I think the promotion went beyond, you know, my location.